So what's so special about a flagpole? This is a question that came to mind when two graduate students from Johns Hopkins University visited Hillwood Estate, Museum, and Gardens for the first time. Amidst the splendor of the post mansion and the beautifully landscaped lunar lawn stands a tall metal flagpole that flies the American flag. Incredibly modern in design when compared to the rest of its surroundings, the flagpole at first appears out of place. Certain details, such as the prominent crossbeam, ropes, eagle finial, and dedication plaques, stand out as being somewhat unique for an object as ubiquitous as a flagpole. To learn more about its significance, we spoke with Estella Chung, curator and historian at Hillwood. Well, it speaks a great deal about Mrs. Poe's personality and who she was and how she interacted with other people. The flagpole, if you walk up to it and look more closely on the front of it, is a plaque. The flagpole, dedicated in 1962, was given to Mrs. Post by her loyal staff to show their gratitude for her many years of warmth and generosity. Past and current staff members traveled from far and wide to attend the dedication. Former employee Charles Cronk told Mrs. Post on that occasion, Those of us who have been with the organization for many years will always recall the many kind things you have done. Your deeds speak far better than I can say. On behalf of all the employees over the years, I ask you, Mrs. Post, to accept this flagpole as a token of our esteem and gratitude. Often people in Mrs. Post's life wanted to give her something, but what do you give the woman who has the resources to give herself everything? And so typically how people would think Mrs. Post is they would think of a, a larger project, such as a flagpole. So why a flagpole of all things if this is a woman who collects Russian and French decorative art? Why a flagpole? Well, she was a very patriotic person. Although Mrs. Post often welcomed foreign ambassadors to her home, this flagpole was only known to have flown the American flag. Mrs. Post also held elaborate Fourth of July parties, where the flagpole complemented the lunar lawn's impressive view of the Washington Monument and fireworks. Topping the flagpole is an eagle finial. According to Brian Barr, director of horticulture at Hillwood, Mrs. Post loved the eagle as a symbol of America. In fact, if you look around the Hillwood grounds, you will find numerous hints of Mrs. Post's patriotism, from the golden eagle topping the flagpole to the eagle-shaped icebreakers on some of the building's roofs. So what is the significance of the nautical crossbeam design? According to Barr, it is modeled after the mast of Mrs. Post's beloved yacht, the Sea Cloud. We asked Ms. Chung to elaborate on the significance of the yacht to Mrs. Post. Mrs. Post's a magnificent yacht was called the Sea Cloud, and if you can imagine one of the largest private yachts in the world, furnished in the manner that Hillwood is, that the interior of it did have uh, French decorative arts on the inside, it had porcelain services, and she had many, many happy family experiences on the Sea Cloud. It was with her for a, a good length of period of her life, and so the mast of the Sea Cloud uh, evokes very pleasant memories for her. The mast design of the flagpole also evokes memories of Mrs. Poe's patriotism. During World War II, she commissioned the Sea Cloud as a weather convoy ship to the U.S. Navy. She is quoted as having said, Since I have no son to give to the war, I will offer the Sea Cloud. Armed with guns, the yacht valiantly served its country by aiding in the destruction of two German submarines, contributing to the Allied victory. It was decommissioned to civilian waters in 1945. Therefore, the flagpole's nautical, mass-like design not only reflects the many happy memories Mrs. Post enjoyed on her yacht, but also her fierce love of country. Through a close look at the flagpole and our conversations with Hillwood staff, we were able to develop a deeper understanding of who Mrs. Post was, in addition to an art collector, philanthropist, socialite, and businesswoman. We learned she was also an ardent patriot, loved and respected by her staff, who enjoyed spending time out at sea on her beloved yacht. This new perspective on Mrs. Post has made us feel more connected to her and has given us a greater appreciation of her collections. Vast and opulent, they were always personally meaningful to her, and the flagpole is no exception. It embodies the complexity and depth of her personality and represents her continued presence at Hillwood.